Now, Jackson County was first populated by members of the church from three different groups. First, after receiving this revelation and telling those four missionaries to say, stay, Joseph calls 24 additional missionaries, or 12 companions, to go down to Jackson County and start establishing a, a, the city that would become Zion. The second group was Joseph himself and a small company of people. They were going to go down there and, and lay out the, the city and, and make plans for raising a community. And then the third group was the Colesville branch. Col the Colesville branch was in New York, uh, not far from Fayette. And so the entire Colesville branch decides to move as one body from Colesville, New York, to Independence, Missouri. Now imagine for a minute going to church on Sunday and having your bishop stand up and saying, members of this ward, we are going to move together as a unit about 1,400 miles into the wilderness. And like them, you would say, great, let's go. How soon? <laughs> because that's what they did. They all got together. They got their provisions ready, and they took a march that was equal in length to what the Mormon pioneers did from Nauvoo to Salt Lake. This was no easy journey. And they were, so they were the trailblazers. They, they did it first, making a long exodus. So they head down. So those three groups end up down there. Parley P. Pratt, in describing the migration to Jackson County, specifically to the city of Independence and a couple of townships there, um, he says, it wasn't a flood, it wasn't a trickle, but a constant flow of immigrants. And so they just kept coming. Slow and steady, but they were coming. Oh, it didn't take long, only a few months. And all of a sudden, the Mormon population in Independence and the surrounding area there in Jackson County exceeded 1,200 people which was equivalent to about a third of the entire population of the whole county. 